it's Sarah with sarahscoop.com, and I'm here to give you the scoop on all of your favorite things. Welcome to The Sarah Scoop Show. Hi everyone, and welcome back to The Sarah Scoop Show. I'm Sarah, and today our guest is Lena Stone. She is a country musician living in Nashville. She's gonna give us a scoop on what life's like and any big, exciting things she has in the works. Thank you, Lena, so much for being here with us. You're here to give us the scoop on what you've been up to. And so first off, for those who don't know, you are a country musician. Can you tell us a little bit about what life in Nashville is like and chasing your dreams? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I live here in Nashville. Um, I've been here for – I moved here when I was 18, so I've been here for a couple of years now. And um, I love I love the music community in Nashville. Everyone is really creative um, and talented, and people are really welcoming and, like, want to collaborate and want to help everyone get better and see people succeed. And I'm not, I have, I've never lived in LA or New York, but I don't think it's nearly as like collaborative as it is here, which is awesome. So you didn't always have music on the mind, I guess, or maybe you did, but it was on the side because when you went to college, you got a degree in economics, correct? I did. Yeah. The deal with mom and dad was as long as I got my degree, I could do whatever I wanted in my free time. Um, so that was what led me to Vandy because I knew I wanted to be in Nashville um, to be a part of this community. And so I was like, well, I can get my degree and do music. So I split a lot of time. So you got the degree kind of just like for your mom and dad, but you always wanted to do music. Yes, for sure. So was there much of a transition over or have you just been doing music your entire life? Yeah, I've been writing songs my whole life. My kind of joke is that my grand, my grandmother, who's my favorite person in the entire world, and my dad both wrote songs and I was around that all the time growing up. And so I just kind of thought everyone, like I just kind of thought everyone wrote songs so I wrote songs, started writing songs when I was like eight, and I just kind of assumed that everyone did that, and it wasn't until I hit high school that I was like, oh, I'm the only one of my friends who does this. So you, then you wrote a new song recently, correct? October? Yeah, yeah, yeah. my single that came out, it came out almost exactly a month ago, um, so of course it makes sense for this time of year. Um, and it's, you know, I, I love the fall, but I feel like it lasts like two minutes, and then it's over. Um, and so the song October is all about a love that is like that. Like it's romantic and beautiful and cozy and wonderful, but it's like so short. (laughs) Can you tell me a little about the day that you wrote October? Of course. Yeah. I wrote it, um, with one of my best girlfriends, Savannah Kyes, who's an amazing artist herself. Um, and my friend Simon Reed, um, who was the producer on the song and, we literally like came into the room talking about what I was just saying about how we love the fall, but it's so short and all the pumpkin spice, everything and sweater weather and all that good stuff. And, and I forget even how it came up in the room, but someone was like, well, what if we wrote a song about that? Um, and Simon started playing that really pretty piano part that you hear in the song. And we just kind of went from there. So do you um, do like a lot of collaborations? Everyone I talked to about in, or from Nashville, like you were saying earlier, it's such a supportive city. How, what's that like when you're working with other creatives? Like how do you guys work together with all of the different minds playing in to produce yeah. such beautiful music? I mean, I think that songwriting, like co-writing is a lot like blind dating. And like sometimes you get a combination of people and it's so great. And like everyone's strengths complement each other. So someone's really good at guitar and someone's really good at melody and someone's really good at lyric. And then sometimes you get in a room and like the chemistry is just not great and (laughs) and you just go out to lunch instead and call it a day. The combination that wrote October uh, with Savannah and Simon and I is definitely one of those just like the energy is so good and we all just feed off each other. Yeah, it's a beautiful song. Um, I was going to ask, so going off of that, like you said you wanted to be a songwriter. You know, you had that in your life. Your family was doing that. What advice do you have for people? Like that's not your typical nine to five job. So there's definitely people that are probably like very inspired by you and your story. What advice do you have to for those people that want to follow in your footsteps yeah my advice um is always just that like one to stick with it um because it is not something that happens overnight um I've been in Nashville for a number of years now writing songs and I feel like I get closer to my goals every day but it's not it doesn't happen as, as quickly as we'd hope that it would um and just like to study the music that you love 
um, you know, I I grew up loving both pop and country. So I love Jennifer Annals and I love Leanne Womack, but I also love Sarah Bareilles and Britney Spears. And like, I study that and I figure out like what I love in that and how I can say my own stories in ways that make sense for me. Do you um, have any like fun stories from performing that you like look back and you're like, oh my gosh, how did that happen? Um, yes, I actually, I just got back. I was on Girls Weekend this weekend um, and somehow I ended up telling the story and I'd completely forgotten about it. But one of my first shows ever when I was still 16 and still living at home um, up outside of Boston, I got invited to play this show and I was like so excited and you know there aren't a lot of opportunities to play up in Boston so I I showed up to the show and me at 16 was basically a Taylor Swift impersonator um like sundress flip-flops little acoustic guitar and songs that sound a lot like what she was doing at the time and I show up it's a metal festival a metal like hard rock metal yes and I everyone is pierced and tatted and in all black and I'm like there I brought my grandparents with me like I my sisters who are like at this time like middle school age oh my gosh it was a riot but like everyone there was so nice to me and so respectful and like all their girlfriends totally loved me and so all the girlfriends came up to listen to my set and it was adorable but in retrospect I'm like who was booking that show and who thought that I made any sense in that lineup (laughs) That's funny. I'm sure you've got a lot of those crazy stories where you're like, oh, but at least you had your family support, right? They're And they're like the best. They're so supportive. Um, so whenever you come to performing or writing songs, where do you get the inspiration for those songs that you are singing? You know, uh, most of it's real life. Like most of it's stuff that either is happening to me now or has happened in the past. Um, but I also, I'm a big believer in using Pinterest. Um, and there are like some amazing quotes on there. And a lot of times if I'm feeling kind of like running dry on inspiration for myself, I go onto Pinterest and I'm like, Oh, what quotes are on here? Like what, what could be a cool song out of this? I love that because so many people hit like writer, like as a blogger or people that are writers, like you hit writer's block, but a musician would, most likely hit writer's block as well. Yeah, especially if you're like I am writing, you know, at least five songs a week, like every single day of the week. At some point, you you need a place to find some new ideas. Do you always write songs thinking like, I'm going to sing this? Or do you sometimes write songs thinking like, wow, I'm writing this song and I envision whoever singing this song? Yeah, I mean, I, I absolutely am that way because I always say like, I'm a songwriter first and I've written hundreds of songs in the last few years and a lot of them make sense for me to sing but some of them don't and especially in this like collaborative environment when you write with other people sometimes someone will bring up a cool idea in a room and I'm like man I wouldn't sing that but I would love to help you tell that story and write that song um and so I always my mentality is always let the best song win and let the best idea win let's just write a great song today and if it works for me great and if it's better and we for Carrie Underwood and we can send it to someone on her team then let's do that that's awesome um with living in Nashville, like, do you feel like if you want to be a part of the music industry, Nashville is the place to go? I think if you want to be a part of the country music industry, yes. Um, I know there's a really cool scene in Texas, um, so that's kind of a thing too. But I think that's more like for people who are from Texas. Like, I don't think that I don't think they want a little girl from Boston coming down there and being like, "I'm country." <laughs> that's funny. Um, and then obviously, LA is an amazing scene, um, but it's a much, much smaller country community out there. So really to do like the country thing, Nashville's the place to be. Plus it's just a fun town. So who wouldn't want to be here? <laughs> I know. I've got to come back. I've been once. I got to come back. I've... You'll have to let me know. We'll go out. It'll be fun. <laughs> yes. That sounds perfect. Um, with everything like you, I know that we've interviewed you in the past and like, it's just like you keep growing, growing, growing. And it's so amazing. And I just, I love seeing the success of people. Like whenever we start, when they're kind of, I know you started young, but like when we start hearing about you and then it grows, 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 what's like, what's next for you? What plans do you have for the new year? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I, um, the rest of the year, all I'm doing is writing. Um, and I'm so excited. I'm writing with some of my favorite people who I already work with. I'm writing with new people. So I'm just getting a whole bunch of new material ready and I'm going to come back in January after the holidays and I'm taking a nice long vacation and I'm going to come back. I'm going to go back to the studio. Um, I'm going to record a bunch of stuff and that'll start coming out probably February ish. Um, so that's basically the plan for the new year is just to keep, keep writing and keep releasing music. 
That's awesome. That is so exciting. I love hearing all about this. Um, for people that maybe haven't heard of you or don't know where to find your music, where is the best place for them to find you? The best place to find me, I uh, my music is everywhere that music is streamed and sold. So iTunes, Apple, Amazon, Spotify, all that stuff. Um, and then on socials, um, my handle everywhere is Lena Stone Music. So I'm super easy to find. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much, Lena. We appreciate you taking the time. And I can't wait to see what comes from you in the new year. Thank you so much. It was so great talking to you. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe to The Sarah Scoop Show.